Hola from Barcelona, muchachos. My name is Elena and I have moved to this beautiful city for a couple of months. I know many of you who want to visit the city can't plan and spend days and weeks exploring the city and coming with the best sites. That's why I designed especially for you an itinerary to cover the most important and impressive places in Barcelona. I've already filmed a cool video, day one itinerary of the must-see places that Gaudi has built and also a day two itinerary covering the tour of the old town. Please watch them, they are super great and one of my favorite videos on this channel. But today we will be focusing on visiting the gorgeous mountain Montjuic and also the cute and charming neighborhood of Barceloneta. So if you think that in Barcelona you can not visit the sea and the mountains during the same day, you are sorely mistaken. Let's go! This is a great spot for a quick breakfast. We had two sandwiches, two cups of coffee, overall super good. But I would say the main thing is the ambience. It has a very artsy interior, a lot of interesting young people here, so that is definitely worth coming for here. Uh, coffee for my taste was really good, but not the best one that I tasted in Barcelona, and sandwiches were really good. So uh, recommend, if you're not in the mood of experimenting, you just want a simple, quick breakfast and then be on your way. So for our next destination, we have chosen the aquarium. This is a super fun, super family friendly attraction. And we are now crossing the bridge in such a rush because they said in five minutes they will actually open the bridge so the ships can pass. This amazing street that I'm Strolling on right now near the sea is called Rambla del Mar. They have really nice benches here just for admiring the views and then windbreakers. So in the winter it's not super cold when you're staying here. Mission accomplished. We cross the bridge. Next station will be the aquarium. The aquarium is so beautiful. You can see all type of fishes, smaller and bigger ones, but obviously the most interesting part are the sharks. Love the sharks in an aquarium, but wouldn't want to meet them in the sea. There's one just above us, and you know, being surrounded by all the fishes, it's, uh, uh, it's just very impressive. We just came to the Barceloneta neighborhood. This is one of the 
unusual neighborhoods here in Barcelona because it reminds me of a neighborhood in Italy. And actually there are a lot of Italian restaurants surrounding the area. The area is most famous for its beaches, but it's winter, obviously we're not going to go there. We're just going to explore the architecture of this very cool neighborhood. It really gives a much more relaxed vibe and maybe even a safer vibe than the rest of Barcelona. I think this is very typical of cities uh, around the sea for the people to be a little bit more polite, uh, chilled, relaxed, enjoying their life. And I hope I will um, absorb all of this cool atmosphere. We made a stop at Candara Monet for lunch. This is a typical lunch and dinner place. They open around uh, 12 uh, and they stay open up until late evening. The building that we are in right now is a historical 18th century winery. They used to sell wine in the building and now it's a restaurant specializing in Mediterranean cuisine, uh, seafood and Catalan. We came here for one dish, but it's not paella like you might think. It's actually its Catalan cousin the fidewa. It's the same dish, only instead of rice, they use very thin pasta noodles. And it's obviously topped with a lot of seafood. Here we go. We had a delicious meal of fidewa. To be honest, it was a little bit too much, so Eugene helped me eat most of it. But it was super delicious and uh, there was a lot of fresh seafood in it. So overall, we spent 41 euros and 30 euro cents for two glasses of wine and two portions of Pidewa. It's definitely a bit on the higher side, but the food quality is really good and the ambience, of course, is just exceptional. It's a historical house, it's just worth coming here to see all of this. There are many ways in which you can get to Mount Montjuic. You can walk here, you can bike here, you can take public transportation, and all of those are very accessible ways. We went uh, a little bit uh, on a splurge and bought two tickets on the teleferric. One way, it's 11 euros per person, and it gave us an amazing view, which you can get just going on the road to the mountain. So if you have an extra cash to uh, spend on this uh, trip, I would definitely recommend it. It gives you amazing views of the city and of the mountain. From the cable car stop, it's a 30 minute hike to the Montjuic Castle, which seems like a super big workout after our lunch. And most of it, you have to go uphill. So be prepared to get some comfy shoes and some water. What a wonderful end of this day. It was full of things to do. It was very tiring. And I'm happy to be celebrating the end of it here on top of the Montjuic Castle, which offers by far the best views of Barcelona that I have seen. Uh, the sunset is in 20 minutes, so we'll hang around here until then. Let me know in the comments if you visited Barcelona, what did you think about the attractions and about the itinerary, whether it worked for you or not. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.